be no straight men, cause you all have a common disease. Can't give very much. And we see how, what do you think of my lavender cowboy hat? Anybody who's like gay and is in country music, we all are like, oh yeah, him. He's lit. He did it at a time where, at least now, if you say you're a little gay, you can maybe get some buzz on the social media. He wasn't getting buzz. He was getting unemployment for 10 years. He was getting threatened. He was getting kicked out of clubs. I mean, he could even find music gigs, which is crazy. I think most people in our genre really understand how important it is. Everybody I know who's playing country, queer country music knows Lavender Country and respects them. It was a community of folks who produced Lavender Country in the first place. I could have never made Lavender Country on my own. Are you kidding? I, I, socialist leaning, revolutionary, gay country album made solely by me. It's absurd. But the, the thing that I really want people to remember is that the Stonewall movement was full of radicals, such as myself. We were all over the place. I wasn't the only one. There were hundreds of us, thousands of us, with a radical perspective in the Stonewall movement. People were feeding me issues to write about as we made the album. I had my, my trepidations ab about using the word myself. I'm fine for when there won't be no straight men Cause you all have a common disease Can't give very much for loving and such But you take it wherever you please It's, it's almost like he's using their words. Like, oh, don't worry, don't feel too much for me. I'm just a right? That's sort of the vibe. It's like, uh, this is real feelings, real hurt, and it's sort of your word. But crying these tears did influence one of the songs on my new album. I'd never, like, I never thought I could write a song about sex, like gay sex in a country song, but that song was like, well, if he can do it, I can do it. Why not? It was exactly the right word for what I was trying to say. Look, you guys, you're making me cry and feel rotten about myself because I suck you, you. It was like all of a sudden everybody's light bulbs turned on and they got past the fact that I wrote a song called Tears and got into the meat of the material of what we were trying to say back then. He really checked me, you know, I was like, you know, it's hard. I produce my own albums and I really want them to sell. And, you know, I have to promote them and tour. And he was like, um, great. When I was coming out, my friends were getting beat up by police and no one would say anything because they were gay. 
this, this is a story from a time where things were really different. There is a certain amount of fear of being a, a gay, communist, loudmouth activist. When I made Lavender Country, I wasn't afraid of that because I was already out. And I was already exposing myself to the culture at large. Today, running around the country, singing gay country stuff in the face of the politic that we're living in, I'm probably more afraid now than I ever was. So what big deal? So I'm afraid. Whoopie doo. Been there, done that, got the t-shirt, let's go.